The Ascension Path is just riddled with challenges. We think it's all going to be love and light, magic all the time, but it's not really. There are a lot of challenges. I connected with the Galactic Federation this morning, and I had some amazing helper assistance come through from them. And really, it was a reminder as to why we face these challenges, why it seems so much like a struggle all the time. And I got some information that I want to pass on to you about how we could really navigate through this when we shift our perspective and shift our mindset as to what's really happening. So this is in a very important message for you to listen to if you're constantly just facing struggles, you're committed to this ascension journey and this path and why you're here, but sometimes you feel like giving up. So I've been having a lot of stuff come up lately, some bigger things that were really affecting me on multiple levels. And I know we're going through this expansion right now. We've got a lot of solar activity. There's a lot of space being created within the body. I've been doing the work, been connecting and doing the healing work and doing my best to feel whatever it is that's rising up. And I know those of you who I work with are doing the same thing, but for whatever reason, more seems to come thrown at us, right? And some of these situations, some of these things really seem to be like barriers. It's like we keep bumping our head into this glass ceiling type of thing, and we can't seem to get past it. We seem stuck. And your mind may be trying to problem solve it from that perspective, try to figure out how to get around it or how to get through it. But there's something very big that's in the way, and it's so, so obvious that it's the one thing you need to really do to be able to start to shatter that glass ceiling and really move yourself to a new level of consciousness where things really start to open up in a much bigger, much more expansive way. When we're going through this journey, we tend to do this healing work, but then we do run into barriers. And these barriers, like I said, are just, they're just, it's like they keep coming back around. They keep coming back around and they, they're they reflected back to us in situations. Maybe we get triggered. Maybe something big happens externally to us that brings us back into that same energy. We're like, okay, I thought I dealt with this. Here I go again. Well, this morning I was reaching out in meditation to the Galactic Federation and they came through in this big loving but yet booming way that they do with me. Um, it's really how I can identify that I'm speaking with this frequency of beings versus say my Pleiadian guide or my spirit guide, right? So there are markers within me that help me to identify that. So they came through and I asked, why am I facing these challenges? I feel like I'm trying to work or take action steps through them, but yet they're there. It's like this glass ceiling I can't get through. And what they said to me was that these challenges are put in place by me. Okay, so I'm the one creating these invisible barriers to allow for a larger aspect of me, not only to land, for me to embody it and for me to allow it to step forward. So think in terms of like a comfort bubble, right? Our mind can do interesting things. It can make you think like you're trying to work through your comfort zone. But in reality, what it's doing is it's it's subtly circumventing you back into taking action on steps that are really within that comfort zone. You may feel like you're expanding or you're doing something new. Or you're leaning into that fear, right? It could be imposter syndrome, fear of the unknown, whatever that looks like for you. You may feel like you're stepping into that energy and alchemizing it, but in reality, your ego is kind of disguising um, the old and keeping you within that comfort bubble and presenting you with steps that you could take that are really, really safe, okay? You may think it's expansive. You may think you're stepping into that energy again, that dense energy that needs to be alchemized, that uncomfortableness, but you're really still playing it safe. And the more you encounter these situations, the more you encounter your ego and the more you really entertain that information or suggestions that the ego is presenting to you, you're going to start to realize that, yeah, this feels like more of the same. Even though I may be doing things that my ego is saying is expansive or maybe breaking me out of my comfort zone, something deep inside says it feels like more of the same. And that's your soul speaking to you. Your higher self is saying, yeah, you're bouncing around within your comfort bubble. We need to take action in a different way that really gets you out there. And that's why these scenarios, these situations, these triggers keep coming to you in your reality. It's just a reflection of dense energy that is surfacing so that you can expand 
beyond it. So you can alchemize that energy, create space within your body, allow more of your higher self to land and truly expand beyond it. So you're not playing safe within this comfort bubble, even though your ego is saying, oh, look, we're doing something new, so we're expanding. But that's not really what it is. You're really sticking to what is safe. That's subconscious, the subconscious programming. Eventually, you're going to realize that that's what you're doing. So as the Federation came through, they were pointing me in that direction, saying, look, you're doing things, but you're really not stepping into that energy that needs to be felt and alchemized. You're really not getting into that newness. You're really not expanding. So it's up to us to make a conscious choice, um, to make a choice with intent from a loving perspective, loving deep in the heart space, connect with your higher self and feel where you're stuck, where you're limiting yourself subconsciously, what feels um, maybe uncomfortable to you. What's the next step you should really truly take to expand past whatever these scenarios are showing you, these blockages, these glass ceilings, right? And you'll know what those steps are. You know very well what they are. Your higher self's going to present them to you. Here's the steps you should be taking. Now, your ego is again going to try to find reasons to stay small. So it'll go off and say, nah, let's not do that yet. Let's do this. And that's working within the comfort bubble. So I want you to know that all of these things you're experiencing, all of these things that are holding you back, the reasons you keep telling yourself why you're not expanding consciously, why you're not creating abundance, why you're not living a fulfilled life, why you can't um, connect with your soul purpose, why you can't hear your guides. These are all glass ceilings or limitations that you have put on yourself so that you can utilize them to expand past them. So they are awakening points, they're expansion points. Now be aware of what your ego is going to try to do, which is to take action. We know we want to take inspired action, but taking action on steps that really truly keep you within that comfort bubble, that's what your ego is going to try to do. It doesn't want to feel the uncomfortableness of the expansive energy. And it feels uncomfortable because it's new to the human avatar. Okay. So it's something the human avatar hasn't experienced before you're rising in frequency continuously to new heights, new elevations of consciousness. And your ego really doesn't know what to make of that. So it wants to live in what it knows. So it's going to present you with solutions and action steps that keep you within that bubble and doesn't allow you to shatter that ceiling and continue your growth. So next time that happens, I want you to look at a trigger, look at a situation like that, something that comes up that really doesn't feel so good, and look at it with space. Bring awareness to it. Try to observe what your ego is doing or telling you to do and feel in your heart what your higher self wants you to do. It's going to be the stuff that feels uncomfortable. That is communication, clear and simple from your guidance comes from the heart. Okay? So... You've got this. I've been going through it as well. The more you clear your channel, the more you do the breath work, the more you find the density within the body, the more you're going to be able to discern these messages and see what your ego is doing. I'm very aware of what my ego is doing, but sometimes I still need some work to do in my solar plexus to really connect with and feel that confidence to take that step into the unknown into the scary stuff, right? The new, it's all it is. We label it scary, but it's really new. And that's where all the magic resides. If this video resonated, watch this one next. I'd be so grateful. Thank you.